Hello designers! Today I come to you with a very short tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use thefont.com, a free font website to install custom fonts to your computer. When you install a font to your computer, you'll be able to use that exact same font in any program you happen to have installed to the computer already. So if you have Photoshop installed to your computer, if you have Illustrator installed to your computer, or PowerPoint, any design program, you'll be able to use that exact same font. So let's get started. The first thing you might want to do is take a look at the themes that thefont.com has available. These themes are going to be categorized under names such as fancy, foreign look, techno, and so forth. These themes are good to start off when you're going to create a very specific design. For example, if I asked you to design a Valentine's Day card, you might want to go and look under the category of Holiday and select Valentine. And you'll see that many of these search results are going to include these very decorative fonts that include a lot of hearts and a lot of lovey-dovey kind of um, iconography for lack of a better word. You can see that there's a lot of different selections to choose from. Some of these fonts are gonna include letter forms that we're familiar with and several of these fonts are gonna include several different dingbats, which are basically little icons that you can make by um, pressing certain keys on your keyboard. We're gonna fo focus on actual fonts with letter forms. So let's say I'm really interested in this font called Cookie Monster and I want to download it because I want to create a design that looks hand drawn. So I'm going to go to the right hand side and click on the button that says download. And you'll see that a zip folder downloaded by default to my computer. So I'm going to click to open that zip folder and this is going to be the font that I need to install. When I look at the type of file this is, it says true type font file. That's what I want to look for. Sometimes when you install fonts to your computer, the zip folder includes a lot of different things on it. So it might include like a text document with instructions from the designer of the font or something along those lines. You can pretty much ignore that and just focus on the type of the file it is and look for the one that says true type font file like this. So, once you locate the right file, I'm going to double click on it and it's going to show you a preview of what that font looks like. Then you're going to click install. It looks like I already had it installed and forgot about it, but sure, I'll click replace and wait for that to install fully to your computer. Then you'll be able to go and use it on any design program you want. So I'm going to flip over to Photoshop. I can see that previously I was using the type tool. So if I go and try to look for that font called Cookie Monster, I'm probably not going to find it because I was already using the type tool. So I just have to refresh Photoshop for a minute. I can just refresh by clicking on the move tool or any other tool. So that then when I go and select the type tool again, highlight my text so I can change it to the right font. I'm going to go to the options bar and go to the font selector menu and look for the font titled Cookie Monster. And it installed perfectly. Let's try a different line of text. Okay, and that's what that Cookie Monster font looks like. It's very whimsical and it has a hand-drawn look. So likewise, you guys might want to go in to thefont.com and look through several of the different categories of fonts that they have listed under themes and find several different fonts to individualize your projects and make them more interesting. I hope this has been helpful to you and I can't wait to see what you guys create.